How's it going, everybody? It's Dr. Hefe playing some more Disco Elysium. And last time, we sang our heart out. We sang our karaoke. Oh, man. That was quite a stunningly beautiful rendition of... I'm forgetting the name of it. It's like the Church of Saint-Saëns. Something like that. Do I have it here? Should be one of these things. Not the Door Gunner Mega Mix. Do we lose? We lost the tape? <laughs> oh man, that's sad. Um, but yeah, I think it's like the last church on Sans. Sanse. Something like that. Smallest church. Smallest church in Sanse. But yeah, it was beautiful. It was wonderful. You should go look at it, uh, experience it, and then also experience it when you actually pass the check. But we did learn that possibly Kuno could have been messing with our our exploration of the Phasmid, the Insulindian Phasmid. Kuno, why are you trying to mess with people, huh? What's up with that? Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. Right. Okay, this is a new intro because normally he says Kuno doesn't give a fuck. But now he's saying he's like his dad. That probably is from the psychology after we looked at his dad. Anyway, what happened to the missing locust, Kuno? No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about books. Oh my god, I told you that shit is lame! <laughs> Shut up, see. <laughs> we know you love bugs, Kuno. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison! No one is lame here, just tell me what happened. Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. Kuno's not going to say anything without his lawyer present. There's definitely something going on here. Maybe he's got them stashed somewhere nearby, in some hidden place. There's a suspicious shack in the eastern corner of the yard. All right, Kuno. Kuno. Doesn't fucking... All right, Kuno. Have you stashed the locusts in this shack back here? The pile of etonite looks stranger now that Kuno told you about his... Pad. All right. We didn't even go in here after because he told us about unless it. Because Kuno lied, you should just be able to pull the panels aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Whoa. My goodness. That looks dangerous for a child to be going in and out of. So this is the shack Kuno mentioned. Let's take a look inside there. All right, Kim. Let's do it. Also, eventually, we're going to go talk to the smoking man on the balcony. I know I've been teasing this for like 10, 15, maybe 20 episodes. Maybe the whole series I've been talking about it. It's very possible. But eventually, we will go and talk to that man. And possibly even today. Oh, he's got a fawn poster in here. What's up with that? Get out of the way or get fucked up. It's a foot kicking a dude in the face <laughs> oh man nike in the world of revishal it's actually a phone slogan from an aggressive youth oriented campaign wonderful a silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder is that drugs is electrochemistry got something to say be still yes <laughs> heart. it's amphetamine sweet amphetamine the lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I was thinking about justice. No, this is this is what we're going to say. I've heard amphetamines makes you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective, Kim? No. I'm just a regular detective. Thank you very much. Yeah. Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. This is too much. Too much. We're, we're going to act like we're a, we're a cool cop. Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Yeah, we could use that to get into the harbor if I hadn't freaking kicked Measurehead in the face. Man, did you not see me? I mean, yes, he did grab my head one time and almost crush it like a rotten fruit. But in the second round, round number two, you know, round one, anything can happen in round one. It doesn't mean anything. Round two, though, 
My goodness, we just gave that dude a KO. Spinning back kick. Anyway. Cured pig's head. Looks mummified. Wonderful. Everyone loves the Lord of the Flies reference in their video games. Um, what's this? Is this a jug full of amphetamines, please? 34 cents. You know, if I wasn't... What's the, what's the thought again? If I wasn't so into the indirect modes of taxation, if we weren't into getting one real from that... No, the Wompty Dompty Dom Center. That's where we're getting two real from Encyclopedia. Are we wearing our Beano Clark glasses? We are. Mega Beano. It's crawling with locusts in here. All around you, the hisses and chirps of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud, dotted with little holes for windows. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case. Kim, I'm sensing a light bit of sarcasm from you. Of the locusts. For the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. <laughs> Stop being so car sarcastic, Kim. My goodness. Oh. I'm not being sarcastic at all. We are making real progress here. You think the Insulindian Phasmin is nearby? I'm just going to say it because I want to hear his extreme sarcasm one more time. If anything, the presence of the Locust points to the opposite. The Phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. It was Kuno. The Phasmid doesn't exist. Kim, I was expecting more... A little bit more sarcasm from you, but okay. But what do I know? I'll let you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. Kim, do you remember the first time we talked to Kuno and I tried to punch him in the face and then I fell on the ground? And then I had to give Kuno some cigarettes so that he wouldn't think of me as his little bitch anymore? Yeah. Well, you weren't there for when I gave him cigarettes. Anyway, Kim, yeah, let's go talk to Kuno. Everything's good. Everything's chill. You know, we'll take a quick detour to the roof, just to look around, and then we'll go talk to him. Drugs may raise learning caps, but they're bad for your health. Yeah, look at us. Here on the roof, just a couple of cool cops walking around, doing our thing. Look at these little green circles we didn't get to click on. The doorway was going to collapse soon, now we know. Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. Kim, 74 cents. You know, I'm probably going to be able to buy a book. The man from Heimdall and a postcard. Grand Couron, 37. 37 was part of the depressing years? I don't know. Let's have a look at it. This postcard depicts an ill-advised residential area overlooking the Jamrock Quarter. Thirteen-story buildings line the hillside like sarcophagi, an ominous fog already rising from behind. These are the last boom years. In 39, the project fails cat catastrophically, leaving behind an opiate and hepatitis B-infested slum. Why would you make a postcard out of this? I feel like most postcards are of, like, beautiful places or silly things or, like, smiling things, things like that. Not, not, uh, can I click that dot from here? No. Not hella depressing coal city jam rock slums, you know? But I guess in Ravishal they do things differently. This may be a European thing. Maybe I'm coming to this with a American lens, a bias perhaps, thinking that postcards need to be bright and cheerful. Maybe in Europe postcards are all sad, gloomy, and depressing. Could be could be what they do over there. Alright, Kuno, we know you took the frickin' locusts. Kuno's like Kuno's dad? Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. You're so you're so proud of that. Kuno, I found your shack. Yeah, did you fuck in there? Thanks. What was with the pig head? Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. I liked it. I got one too. This one, it's shit. I'm making fun of my head and calling it a pig head. What the hell? I'm not saying those things. <laughs> Too brutal for you, huh? Kuno, fuck your tongue off. Yes, I think I'm going insane, Kuno. Eh, 
Oh no, Are my you morale. On yourself in front of Kuno, talk kingdom to Kuno, or fuck off. Okay. Yeah, he's even. He is not down with our depressed self. <laughs> All right, we found the plate with re powder residue. You got any more drugs for me, That's Kuno? That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. All right, that's Good cool. Good call, Pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. All right, we know you took the locusts. Yeah. Kuno took the bugs. So what? <laughs> nice. You say you don't give a fuck about bugs, then you go and build a whole bug town. It's not bug town. It's the city of locusts. Locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Stop! Oh, Kuno S is so dismayed by the lameness of Kuno. You stop! It's like they're fucking night. Local city. Night city. City of rage. Night city. He's building Cyberpunk 2077. Hey, I mean, if you can get those cars to drive straight, good on you, Kuno. The girl forces herself to watch again. The corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. The lameness is causing her physical pain. The damage may be permanent. What are you, some kind of artist now? Maybe I am. You should listen to your friend, Kuno. Art's lame as hell. No, we're into art. We're into making money from the Wompty Dompty Dom Center. Oh my god, Kuno! He's gonna make you totally lame in, like, three seconds! Don't let him, Kuno! Yo! Fuck you, see? Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free. He's trying to rip his shirt open, but he can't. Oh, Kuno. Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a f Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno, I'm glad you're embracing this freedom. Don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away! In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from the eaves. Someone closing a window. Uh, yeah, me and Kuno have discussed this. I promised I won't do that. Whoa, what is this thing that's going on? Do we say nothing here? I don't believe you! For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. What's happening here? Use this momentary confusion to take control of the situation. Um, I need you to stop taking locusts from the traps. I mean, I guess. Although I do kind of want to know about what the city of locusts is. I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. C was right. The girl's face appears again above the fence, just long enough to make eye contact with Kuna. Oh, she came back. That was just a temporary. She left temporarily because of the lameness. I have to ask, what does city of locusts mean? It don't mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit, build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck. Oh man. Is, he, is this the come to Jesus moment? Is he realizing that he took too many amphetamines? Pig, you really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. Oh man. He was having a great time until we talked to him about it. Alright, so what's gonna happen to the locusts now? Kuno's gonna let the fucking locusts die. Wow. That's how our goes, huh? All the right. fuck are they trying to catch anyway? With the traps? The Insulindian Phasmid. Hmm. He recognizes the name. Oh. You know what an Insulindian Phasmid is? Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. Okay. Alright, Kuno. You do you. You do you. Um, yo, what's up, Kuno S? Got anything to say to me after Kuno, this? Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. All right, we'll take one step closer. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pig's come to take me in. She means it. The fear is real. 
Yo, I just want to ask some questions. It's I'm going good. away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Nothing. All right. Anyway, we're out of here. Apparently, we can't talk to the Kuno S still. She thinks we're probably pretty lame for talking about bugs. But yeah, let's see. Missing insects. We could report to the cryptozoologists. All right, let's do that real quick. <laughs> and then we'll talk to the cigarette smoking man on the balcony. Um, hopefully they don't get too disappointed by this fact. Oh, they're not even here anymore. All right, that takes care of that. So did uh, the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys. I feel like the connection between them calling them the Hardy Boys in this game and the fact that there's a popular young detective novel series called the Hardy Boys is not coincidence. That could just be me. All right, Kim. You ready? You ready to finally go and see the cigarette smoking man on the balcony? Kim's like, yes, we were supposed to be investigating this murder. You're talking to Kuno about locusts and art and trying to talk to the Kuno S. Like, what the heck are you doing? You're like, yo, man. Um, Lieutenant Double Yfreter Herrier Dubois. A.K.A. Raphael Ambrosius Custo. I do what I want. Oh, cigarette smoking man. So cool. So suave. So, dare I say it, sexy. Of course I've thought about quitting. But for what? Word, my man. Word John indeed. Damari, you found me. Smoker on the balcony. And his shirt is still unbuttoned. Wow, electrochemistry is into this. I do believe that our past relationship was with a woman, but hey. But hey, electrochemistry appreciates a fine specimen when it sees one. We got your hint. We found the key right under the Beautiful. stone. Beautiful. Something sparkles in his eyes. So tell me, are you here to make things right again? Uh... Yeah, that's... I'm not here to make things just right. I'm going to make them spectacular. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have some good news for you. My Sunday friend is visiting me tonight. I told him about you and he'd like to say hello. Step in. He's already waiting. Um, why would I want to meet your friend? I mean, I guess I brought my friend. It's fine if you bring your friends. And our friends, yeah, we can be friends. Trust me. You do. Okay, fair enough. But first, I'd like to talk to you. I have so many questions. That's nice, but I don't have anything to tell you. It's my friend you're looking for, not me. Wait, are we doing like a drug deal right now? What's going on? He takes another drag of his unfiltered cigarette and looks around. It's getting dark and the neighboring windows have lit up one by one. Downstairs, a cat crosses the yard disappearing into the bush besides i've got to run but i just found you again just look at it it's a beautiful night who's going to stay in on a night like this damn son are you telling me i should spend some more time outside fair enough sir fair enough he's right only losers go to bed early time to break out the booze oh yeah a man on high heels stumbles out of a basement club Music blasting over the entire district. It's chilly, and as the chemicals hit his nervous system, a thousand shivers ripple through his body. Is this us? I hope this is a memory of us busting out of the disco club. Only if you promise that we'll talk again. It's important. Something flutters in the corner of the lieutenant's mouth as you're saying those words. I'm glad you're amused, Kim. We'll talk. Just not tonight. Take care, all right? Fair enough. Wow, we gained 70 EXP just from talking to this dude. All right. Bye, my man. There's something so different about him that I just can't put my finger on. Different, of course. 
<laughs> smells good. Why on earth does he smell good? His shirt. Why is this shirt always unbuttoned? Yeah, let's do this one. Electrochemistry always likes to point that one out. His shirt. His shirt. Kim is going to bust out his laughing. Shirt. His shirt. His shirt. No, I don't know why his shirt is always unbuttoned. Oh, Kim, I thought you had some insight Come here. on, detective. Let's go. We've got a potential witness to interview. His Sunday friend, remember? All right. Whatever you say, Kim. His Sunday friend. I like that Kim is finds this amusing. But Kim is so sweet. He doesn't he doesn't make fun of us. He just has like a little smile on his lips. Do we have any interesting thoughts? Oh, we have the Koldo Mama Dakwa and the some kind of superstar. We don't need those. We don't need those. Government intro issues take me all over. Rubber as you can see, a quarterly business magazine. We'll talk to you, sir. We're just uh, you know, observing the area first, an empty ashtray makes sense for the cigarette smoking man. Dishes soaked up in a pot. Dates for option lectures at a local university. So this man is a student? He goes to the lectures? Flyers for underground parties? Ah, uh, yeah, this guy likes the party. Found a hat, plus one to logic, minus one to suggestion. That's very interesting. This gives you plus two to logic, though. Exquisite canopy bed made of metal. Expensive men's perfume lingers in the air. That was one of the options. We could have asked why he smelled so good. An old photo of the same apartment dated year 01, so 40 years ago. Party Dragon's Silk Robe. Plus one to drama, plus one to electrochemistry. Um, is this a jacket? Yes, please. This sleazy, silky bathing robe in vibrant blues features a roaring dragon on its front, ready to take off into the night. A red belt has been provided for fastening. It's culturally insensitive, but only for people who are not from sale. The real saleites probably don't care. <laughs> This fucking game. Plus one drama, become the dragon. Plus one electrochemistry, become an addict in a strange bathing robe. That's us. What about this hat? This tawny cone shaped hat looks like a beacon of Samaran wisdom. It's straws sticking up like antennas. Thank God you can't really see people's reactions when they see you strolling around in this incredibly insensitive headpiece. Wow. Yeah. That's something. Plus one logic. Super logical for a cop to wear this. <laughs> really? Really? Minus one suggestion. Insensitive bachelor party vibes. Now we're putting on the, the fallen people. We got our fallen leggings, our fallen hat. We're looking pretty cool like this. Oh my goodness. Buckets of paint on a layer of old newspapers. Someone is always watching. Sir, I don't know what to say to that. Oh yeah, don't we? Weren't we supposed to investigate a, a second murder or something at some point? Got this filthy jacket that we need to wash. Well, yeah, uh, we got this guy who we're going to talk to, the smoker man's Sunday friend. But I think this is a good stopping point. Who knows how long this interview will take? It could take one minute. It could take a whole episode. But we'll find out next time. Until then, do you remember? As always, to take care of yourself and keep it disco, baby. But not super insensitive disco style. More like wearing your high heels while you step out of a club that's bumping music style. All right, see you then.